Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Come here. I'm not doing it. Fair warning. You're probably going to regret coming with me. Hmm. Now, is that because you neglected to inform me that Danny's cousin, however many times removed, happens to reside in an institution for the criminally insane? No, 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 that's not all. That's not all. I'm almost afraid to ask. Well, you see, um... Heather, Listen, she thinks... all right, look, let's just get in there. Let's swap the psycho and get out. Trust me, whatever it is, I can handle it. Yeah, but, uh, Heather had... Hey, how you doing? Oh, no! You stay away from me. Stay away! Oh, hey, put the chair down. I'm not gonna hurt you. You just stay away. And you! I should have figured it was no. you. I don't know how you did it. But you brought Stephen Clay here to no, finish no, no. me off. No, 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 this is not Stephen Clay. I don't deserve to no, be no, turned no, over please, to Stephen please, Clay. No. Calm down. Listen to me. Stephen Clay is dead. This is his brother, Silas. He's not a murderer. He's a doctor. He is? Yes. Oh. Well, Stephen Lars is a doctor. And he's a murderer, too. Hmm. Who's Stephen Lars? My son. He really is a wonderful boy. Sounds like it. He is nothing like his brother. Well, I certainly hope not. Stephen Clay, he strangled me. And then he dropped me in the water like I was some kind of a mutant fish and hoped I would die. Yes, I'm, look, I'm very sorry about uh, what my brother did to you, but I, I assure you, we are... Uh, I'm not here to hurt you. Then what are you doing here? With her. We need your help. That sweet little boy. He always seems so healthy. I mean, except for the beta thalassemia. But that was nothing to worry about as long as he was monitored. And now you're telling me that Danny has leukemia. Yes, I am. He's receiving treatment. And if that doesn't work, then... The next step would be the transplant. And we've got to test all of the blood relatives, and you were Jason's mother's cousin, so obviously that makes you a relative. And I was just, I was just wondering if you could please allow us to test you. So if I'm a match, you're saying I could save your son's life? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And the procedure's very simple. Uh, it's just um, a little swab, a cotton swab in the inside of the cheek, that's all. Please, Heather, please, would you do that for me? I'd throw myself off the roof of the Miscavige Institute before I'd agree to that. You won't even let yourself get tested? What if you could save my son's life? Well, let me see that. Knock yourself out. Why would I bother? I mean, really, after all we've been through, you want me to give your son my bone marrow. And I asked you to give mine a letter, a simple piece of paper. I mean, really, it was too much trouble for you to do that. Yet you darken my door and you ask me to let the marrow be sucked out of my bones. No, I'm not a piece of awesome go. How can you call yourself a mother? You want to punish me? Punish me! My son is innocent! But he's yours. Yes! He is my son! But if it were up to you, I would have never known that. My God, Heather, haven't you tortured me enough? Didn't you get your revenge when you gave my son to another woman? You let me believe that my son was dead for months when I could have been holding him in my arms and seeing him smile for the first time. No, I was making funeral arrangements and putting him in the ground. And now you want to take him away from me again. You don't care if my son dies because I didn't give you a letter? Are you kidding me? Oh, you know what? You, you can go to hell, Heather. I hope one day you have a shred of sanity left in you that you realize that you are crazy for letting my little boy suffer. Sam, take it easy. She didn't want to come here. She's not going to Yeah, she will. She will. One of my prayers. No, I, I'm sorry, Silas, but you are not going to talk that psycho into anything. Watch me. Heather. 
Heather, I'm, I'm getting the feeling we got off on the wrong foot here. More like the wrong face. How can you come in here looking like that and expect me to help you? And I realize that Sam and I are asking you for a lot. And perhaps you deserve something in return. There are some things I want. But I don't see how you can help me. I'm stuck in here. The staff won't even let me communicate with my son. We could do something about that. Really? Hmm. I'm a doctor. Perhaps I could talk to my colleagues about getting uh, it's a letter, right? We can get a letter to um, Stephen Lars. Just one? I have a whole stack. Of course you do. Sure, a whole stack. No. No, that's not enough. You're going to have to do better than that. OK. What is it you want? Well, how about the food? It's terrible. They must have changed chefs or something. A starving dog would turn up its nose at it. A starving dog like a nice, juicy steak? Oh, please. I'll throw in a lobster tail. Oh, surf and turf. How bourgeois. You're not going vegan on us, are you? Hell no. In fact, I'd kill kittens for a BLT from Kelly's. Who wouldn't? Consider it done. Really? Hmm. I'll personally see to it that you get a BLT delivered here once a week. Beautiful. And lastly... You're pushing it. Oh, I could keep my DNA to myself. I thought so. If you want to test me, I want another visit from that adorable Franco. Detective Thornton. Uh, an another visit from Franco? You're telling me you've seen him before? Of course. As soon as he hit down, he wouldn't ignore his biggest fan. Besides, he needed something he'd given me for safekeeping. I was the only one he could trust with it. What would, what would Franco give you? A DVD. He needed it back to prove he didn't rape you on your little island yeah, hideaway yeah, with Yeah, Jason. I know all about the DVD. I saw it. Oh, Thank good. You. Well, then Franco's already made everything right. He is wonderful, isn't he? All right, fine. I will uh, talk to this. Franco, do we have a deal? If Franco's coming, I'm in. Hmm. Here we go. Open up. Thank you. There we go. That's nice. Well, I must say you have a much gentler touch than your brother. Thank you. And thank you for this. You're welcome. I really, really appreciate this, Heather. Wouldn't it be something if I was the match? Then you'd owe me your son's life. Got a really high fever. I'll call my uncle. I'll call my sister. You know, I um, I, I shouldn't have blown up like that. Are you kidding? After hearing what she did to you, I think you showed remarkable restraint. You do? I would have torn her limb from limb. Really? Because you would never would have known. Actually, I think Heather is quite smitten with you. You were rather charming. Let's keep that between us. Oh, don't you worry. Your secret is safe with me. Well, thank you for stepping in. I appreciate it. So many potential donors. We're going to get a match. If it ends up being the mad woman of Miss Cavage, so be it. Hey, Ray, is that you? It's the baby. Something's wrong with Danny. 